1. Read A. Discuss Would you like to go on a city tour? What is a city tour? Look at the picture. This group of people are tourists. That means they are visiting places to learn more about different cultures, learn about different countries. Which places in your country are popular with tourists? Popular with tourists means that tourists would love to go there. In my country, we have many places that are popular with tourists. When it comes to my city, Jeddah, we have the old town, Al Balad, with its historical buildings. When it comes to Abha, we have uh, Al Habala and the Soda and many other places that are very popular with tourists. Very nice places to go to. B. Read the email and the tour information Ibrahim sent to a friend who is visiting Saudi Arabia and answer the questions. Yusuf is a friend of Ibrahim. This is why Ibrahim wrote this email to Yusuf because Yusuf lives in some other country and he plans to come and visit Saudi Arabia. So Ibrahim is writing to him to tell him about Saudi Arabia. Listen and read. Dear Yosef, I'm very excited you are visiting Saudi Arabia. You say you might come in February because you want to avoid the heat. You are right there. It's not a very hot month. You know what? My travel agent told me about a nice tour which lasts four days. So, as soon as you make up your mind about when you can visit, let me know and I will book the tour for you. If you are thinking of going alone, forget it. I'm coming with you. I would love to show you around my beautiful country. We will go by camel. Won't that be fun? I'm only pulling your leg. Talk to you soon. Ibrahim. Okay. I have enclosed some words in red and some in green. The ones I enclosed in red are new words for a, a normal student. The ones in green are actually these expressions. Because in a moment we will have to find out what these expressions mean. See, you are right there, you are right there. Let's take it from the top. Dear Yusuf, I am very excited. When you are excited, you feel enthusiastic, you feel thrilled that you are visiting Saudi Arabia. You say you might come in February. That means it is possible, but it's not for sure. Because you want to avoid the heat. When you avoid the heat means you stay away from the heat. You are right there. That means I agree with you. You have a point to stay, to keep away from the heat because February is not a very hot month in Saudi Arabia. It's not a very hot month. You know what? Can I tell you something? I have got an idea. This is the meaning of you know what? That means, oh, I just remembered something, or maybe something came to my mind. My travel agent, a travel agent is a guy who helps you arrange your holiday. When you go to a travel agency and you meet with a travel agent, this guy, travel agent, his job is to help you arrange your holiday. He can give you plane tickets. He can give you reservations for hotels for your holiday. So his travel agent told me about a nice tour which lasts four days. Lasts four days means continues for four days. So, as soon as you make up your mind, when you make up your mind, that means when you decide. As soon as you decide means once you decide, once you choose about when you can visit, let me know and I will book the tour for you. Book me means make the reservation. If you are thinking of going alone, if you think that 
you I will not come with you then forget it forget it means it's not gonna happen it's impossible for you to go alone I have to come with you I am coming with you I would love to show you around my beautiful country we will go by camel you know what a camel is it's a big animal uh, that can walk in the desert for days without having food and water wouldn't that be fun that's great and then I'm only pulling your leg what does pulling somebody's leg mean does that mean he is he's actually pulling he, he's holding his leg and pulling it no that means I'm only joking I'm kidding going by camel in the 21st century he was only joking he was not serious about going by camel of course they will use the bus a, a, a car or a plane or whatever okay let's finish this exercise after we finish the next reading but now we are ready because we have finished reading the email now let's match these expressions with their meanings Look at the expressions 1 to 5 from the email and match them with the meanings A to E. 1. You are right there. That means you have a point. You are right. I agree with you. You know what? When you, when you are talking to someone and then you realize something, you tell them, you know what? Let's not do this. Let's do that. That means something has just come to your mind. You have an idea. That means you have got an idea. For example, you are talking to a friend and you are telling him, why don't we go and play football? Or, you know what? Let's not play football. Let's try basketball. We have never played basketball. We always play football. When you say, you know what? That means, oh, something ca came to my mind. Three, make up your mind when, I, when you are not sure about something. First you tell me that you want to play football and then you tell me you want to play basketball. I tell you to make up your mind. Means you have to decide. You have to choose. Don't get me confused. Four. Forget it. That means impossible. It's not going to happen. No way. I'm pulling your leg. Just like here I'm pulling your leg. That means I'm only joking. I'm not being serious. D. I am playing a joke on you. Okay, let's listen and read this brochure. Day 1 The tour will start in the old city of Jeddah. You will visit Nasif House, which is famous for its Islamic architecture, and the Abdul Rauf Khalil Art Museum. If there is time, you will go to Alawi Souk for some shopping. Day 2. You will take a plane to the holy city of Medina. A coach will take you to the Prophet's Mosque, and afterwards to the Museum Khaki, and then to the City Museum, where you can see pictures and videos of the city. Day 3. This day promises a lot of excitement. You will travel to Ha'il, a beautiful oasis in the center of the Najd. You won't believe how beautiful it is unless you see it for yourself. The old city of Ha'il is ideal for sightseeing, but this is a free day. So if you want, take a walk around the city or just go shopping. Day 4 The tour ends in the capital city of Riyadh. It's a long drive, but on the way you will enjoy the gorgeous landscape. You will visit the largest camel market in Asia. Finally, you will visit the National Museum and the old city of Riyadh. Now it's our turn to read this and find out what these highlighted words mean. Day 1. The tour will start in the old city of Jeddah. Can you see the Islamic architecture here? You will visit Nasif House, which is famous for its Islamic architecture. Architecture is the art or practice of designing and constructing buildings, just like this one. Beautiful. And the Abdul Rauf Khalil Art Museum. 
A museum is a building in which objects of historical, scientific, artistic, or cultural interest are stored and exhibited. If there is time, if we have more time, you will go to Alawi Souq for some shopping. Day 2. You will take a plane to the holy city of Medina. When something is holy, like the holy city of Medina, the holy city of Mecca, the holy Quran, holy means dedicated for a religious purpose. A coach will take you there. Or what does it mean that uh, a coach will take him? Is, it, is he a football coach? The one who tells the players how they must train and how they must play? No, a coach is like a bus. Let me show you a picture. This is a picture of a coach. It's like a bus. But is it different? Well, a little bit. It's more luxurious. Usually it's more comfortable because they are used for long distances, long journeys. To the Prophet's mosque. You know what the mosque This is a picture of a mosque. Here is a picture of a mosque. This is the Prophet's mosque. Prophet is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And afterwards, afterwards means after that, to the museum Ka'ki and then to the city museum where you can see pictures and videos of the city day three this day promises a lot of excitement that means we expect we think that we will have a lot of excitement on that day you will travel to Ha'il a beautiful oasis here's a picture of an oasis this is in the middle of the desert there is this oasis which means water and some plants trees palm trees in the center of the Najd you won't believe how beautiful it is unless you see it for yourself see it for yourself means you see it maybe you will hear people telling you how beautiful this is but you will not believe it you have to see it for yourself go yourself Go there and see it, and then you will believe that it's really beautiful. The old city of Ha'il is ideal, means it's perfect for sightseeing. Sightseeing is the, is the activity of visiting places of interest in a particular lo location. You go sightseeing in Jeddah, that means you go and visit uh, the shopping centers, you visit Al Balad. That's sightseeing. But this is a free day, so if you want to take a walk around the city or just go shopping. Day 4. The tour ends in the capital city of Riyadh. It is a long drive, but on the way you will enjoy the gorgeous landscape. Gorgeous means beautiful, amazing landscape let me show you a picture of a landscape they will go by car or using or by coach from Ha'il to Riyadh it's a long drive but on the way they will enjoy this I don't mean that between Ha'il and uh, Riyadh we have this no but we have different kind of landscape so landscape is the is all the visible features of an area of countryside or land you will visit the largest camel market in Asia. Finally, you will visit the National Museum and the old city of Riyadh. Now we are ready to finish this last exercise and then we're done. Is Yusuf going alone on the tour? No, he, he, he told him that if he thought that he was going alone, he told him to forget it. No way, see? That means he he's coming with him see I'm coming with you no he isn't Ibrahim is going with him two are the boys going to travel by camel because he said we will go by camel is that true no he said he was pulling his leg that means he was only joking of course they will not use a camel not in the 21st century 
What is Nassif House famous for? Remember the picture of the old beautiful building with its Islamic architecture? Yeah, it's, it is famous for that. For what can you see in the city museum? When you go to the city museum, what do you see? You can see pictures and videos of the city. Five, what can you do in the old city of Ha'il? What can you do there? You can go sightseeing. Sightseeing means you go visit landmarks, see things in, the, in that city, or walk around the city or shopping. Six, what will you do when you go to Riyadh? Remember, in Riyadh they have the largest camel market in the whole of Asia. And they have the old city, of course. Many things. Or you can visit the National Museum. Okay, uh, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. Goodbye.